The Caravan Channel. Sponsored by Adrian Flux Insurance. We've already had a look at the Bailey Pegasus Palermo, which rightly took most of the headlines when the fourth generation Pegasus was launched earlier this summer. But what if you like the idea of the big twin axle Palermo with its five berth family friendly layout, but don't fancy the idea of towing a 1760 kilo caravan? Well, there's this, it's the Bailey Pegasus Ancona. It uses the same floor plan as the Palermo, but in a smaller single axle body, which means that it weighs in at less than 1500 kilos. Building on the lessons of the Unicorn 3 from last year, Bailey has made the Pegasus look a lot fresher with white sidewalls and the new family look. It's hard to spot the difference between the two until you look closely. You'll find that the spec has been pared back. As standard, it doesn't come with ATC anymore, although this fan does have it fitted. There's still a pretty healthy kit list too. There's external access to the bed boxes at the front here on the near side and to the rear on the off side. And there's also an external 230 volt power point. I'd rather that that cable wasn't coming out in my awning, but apart from that, all the services are on the offside, or in the case of the cassette, to the rear. What's harder to spot is the fact that the Pegasus is narrower than the Unicorn, and we'll find out whether that makes a difference when we go inside. This is very much a caravan aimed at families, so let's start off here in the kids zone. This is a great area for children, and it's been much revamped for the new Ancona, all of it for the better. The cupboard has moved from the foot of the beds into the full width end washroom and the beds have been brought forward properly into the caravan. No longer will kids feel like they're tucked away in a corner. They'll also feel really well catered for. They each get a light and they each get a window, with the lower one having been enlarged significantly to avoid it feeling like a cave. On this side there's a place for them to play their games or if they have a pal over to stay it can turn into an additional bunk. You can even specify a sixth berth should you want two extras. Underneath both these seats and the bunk opposite, you'll find a useful storage space. Although you do notice the fact that this fan is two inches narrower than the Unicorn because those bed boxes are a little bit tight. Here in the middle of the van, you do start to miss some of that sense of space in the Palermo. These bulkheads encroach much more and it's less open feeling. That said, you really do get a fantastic amount of equipment for your money. There's a dual fuel four burner hob, separate oven and grill, a microwave above, one of these rather neat slimline tower refrigerators, and there's also a few things that you don't get in your unicorn, such as, remember not to uh, pull the handle before you've unlatched it, a new pull out cutlery drawer. And on the other side, there's a neat little sideboard, the perfect place to put your TV with a cupboard beneath. It's a shame that the microwave sits quite high and over the hob, but let's have a look at that hob for a sec. Like the other models within the Pegasus range, it's been moved across by a few inches, which means there's space for your pan handles on this side. A really neat little detail that shows that Bailey's been listening to its customers. Underneath, that creates space for a little wine cabinet, although I'm not sure how many bottles you get in there. There's not much point having a family-sized caravan if it doesn't have a family-sized lounge. But fortunately, here the Ancona doesn't disappoint. There's room for about six people around the dining table in here, although you'll have to be a little bit careful if you're very long-legged not to knock knees. It's really spacious and comfortable too. These backrests are more like a domestic sofa than a caravan sofa. They're really great to lean back on and relax. Some might find these seat squabs a little bit unsupportive because they don't have much in the way of knee roll. But there's a very good reason for that, because of course we haven't seen mum and dad's bed yet. Let me show you. Simply pull away these cushions, pull out the slats beneath, and then flip over the bases. One, and two. It's a real advance in front lounge bed making, and it makes for a very comfortable space, and it has an antibacterial cover. It's called Dream Sleep, and it was developed by Belfield, especially for the Pegasus. The washroom is a big improvement over the old Anconas, although putting that wardrobe in there does mean it's not, strictly speaking, a full width end washroom. That said, what space there is has been put to extremely good use, with plenty of floor space for changing. There's an excellent shower with plenty of room in it, 
and a neat vanity unit and wash basin in the centre of the rear wall. It's not without its faults, however. We'd like to have seen a smoked rear window rather than a clear one, and it's a shame that the table lives all the way back here in the wardrobe, so you have to lug it through the van for dinner. Adding a little bit of the Unicorn's polish to the Pegasus has really helped its fourth generation model. It looks much better inside and out, and I really like the way the tweaks to the layout of this Ancona have worked. If you opt for the sixth berth, I suspect you might find it a little bit pushed for six people, but for a family of four, there can be few better ways to go touring. Adrian Flux Insurance, proud sponsors of The Caravan Channel.